Welcome to Continuing Adventures of Denver Spring and Suspension. On today's episode, we find our technicians dealing with a problem truck. Its owners have complained that it has been blinding the neighborhood squirrels and is in fact driving a bit squirrely. This truck has a utility bed on it and carries a lot of weight, but the stock F-250 springs just aren't doing the job. The owners put airbags on to try and help the problem, but as our technicians have found time and time again, in a situation like this, airbags are not the right solution for increasing load capacity. Airbags on a truck like this are best suited for load leveling and were never intended to permanently increase capacity. No, on a truck like this, the best thing to do is add steel. Working on a truck with a utility bed can sometimes be difficult. Gaining access to the shackle bolts can often lead to cutting holes in the bed in order to get the bolts out. In all but a few cases, our technicians prefer to take the springs out as a whole as it is a lot easier and more efficient to work with the springs out of the truck. But today is not going to be one of those cases. Here, our technicians are measuring out the length of steel needed to work within the spring pack. Having the correct length of steel is imperative to making your springs function properly. It takes a special kind of blade to cut through steel. Watch out! Those sparks are molten metal and can leave a nasty burn. But as you watch the blade cut through the steel, it can also be mesmerizing. The steel being cut here today is nearly half an inch thick and is only used when you need to make something heavy duty. Once all the steel is cut, we can then move it to where it gets its shape. Arching the new bars of steel to match the rest of the spring pack is one of the most important parts of the entire process. Without properly matching the arch of the steel, you can actually do more damage to your springs. Improperly arched steel can create gaps and pressure points which can lead to gouging and eventually cause a cataclysmic event where your existing springs eventually fracture. Now, our technicians have the difficult job of putting the new bars of steel into the truck. Normally, these springs would have been reassembled on a specially modified spring bench where they could have been compressed and easily put back together. But here, our technicians have to get creative to put everything back together again. Using a combination of jacks and a porta power, our technician compresses the springs and installs the new U-bolts. With the extra bars of steel, the new U-bolts have to be longer than the originals. Whenever you remove the U-bolts, you should always replace them with new ones. U-bolts have a locking thread, and once they have been torqued into place, they are secure. But if you remove them, they will no longer have the clamping power and can become a major safety hazard. Torquing the U-bolts to the correct amount is imperative. Have them too tight or too loose can cause the springs to break. Our technicians have seen many cases where the U-bolts were not properly installed, which led to their eventual failure. Make sure you retorque those U-bolts after 500 miles to the correct specifications as the springs can settle and the U-bolts can become loose. Now that the U-bolts have been installed and the spring has once again been assembled, our technicians can cut off the excess lengths of the U-bolt and the center bolt. Once the airbags have been reattached, our technician will fill them with the proper amount of air. When not in use, they should have about 10 to 15 pounds of pressure, but make sure when you do need them, do not overinflate. Oftentimes, our technicians will see vehicles come in with airbags that have up to 90 pounds of pressure, and that can actually lead 
to a higher rate of instability. If an airbag fails with that much pressure in it, and it is under a heavy load, the consequences could be dire. Now that both sides of the vehicle are done and everything is all buttoned up, our technicians can take the final measurements and see how much the rear end came up. Well, hot dog. It looks like adding two bars of steel to each side raised the truck by two inches and increased the capacity by about 1,600 pounds. That is more than enough to help carry the extra load of having a utility bed and all the equipment needed to get the job done. Stay tuned to the next installment of the Adventures of Denver Spring and Suspension where our technicians will check the alignment on this truck to make sure that its course will stay straight and true.